guys, how y'all doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with an updated review on, or not an updated review, an updated tour on the accessory pochette. Okay, this is another must-have, okay? And I think this is called the old, the old model. I know they've changed a little bit, but um, this, is, this is an older one, and I highly recommend it. You have to have one of these in your collection. I'm going to show you how versatile it is. First, I'm going to tell you the dimensions. It is 8.5 inches wide by 4.75 inches tall by 1.25 inches deep. And you can see how even though the piping looks like it tapers up, the, the material on both sides sticks out. So it's really it really doesn't taper. So it looks like it does, but actually it's not. I mean, you know, you're going to be able to see like it's really the same. As far as the depth okay and it does come with so there's two models and I actually do have both of them so there's this one and it's got the d-ring and you know the two d-rings on either side okay so you can use a strap with it and then there's also the model that's just a clutch model it does not have a d-ring on the one side it just has this one over here so it's pretty much just only used as you know wristlet or clutch or whatever um, or if you just wanted to just have it to use in your daily bag um, then that's what you would. Honestly, I should have had that. I should have this one because I use this one in my daily bag and have for three years and I never, I think I've only carried it as a crossbody. I was about to say I never have. I have, but I've only used it as a crossbody. Um, I can think of two times, once on vacay and once at a wedding, but I don't really use it as a crossbody that much. But anyway, I'm going to show you all the different ways you can use it. So again, I use it um, in my daily carry and I just have essentials in it. And I have several different different things out here to show you just to, you know, just kind of what fits inside. So I just have, you know, it's like a little field notes type notebook. And this is just my headache medicine, my meds. It came in this little container and it's just what I keep it in because I like the way it's nice and slim. And then um, some business cards. And I actually have a little business card case. Oh, here it is. This, one of these little traditional you know, business card that I usually, if I'm, if I don't need to get to it quickly, I just leave it in here. So I usually do have this in there too. And then, you know, I always have my handy dandy tape measure. Um, I have one of those little rings that you put on the table, you know, so you don't have to put your bag on the floor. I keep that in here. And then just kind of like, you know, usually if I have like some coupons or whatever, like right now I have, uh, just one gift card that's active like I know I have money on it and then like the the Col not the Coles cash the uh, Old Navy cash And so I just keep that in here So I don't really have a whole lot in here, but I wanted to show you some other things That it will fit. Okay, just to kind of give you an idea. So um, If you have an iPhone 6 plus, I don't know if you're familiar with that size But it's it's the bigger version and it fits in here. No problem. I mean, there's like this little bag is pretty deceiving There is a ton of room in here Okay, now if you are going to use this like as a girl's night out or vacay or whatever your reason where you don't need everything in your bag and you're wondering if it will fit a full size wallet, it will. Um, I don't have, well you know that I my Zippy wallet is now the Zippy organizer so it's a little bit bigger. But I do have this uh, old model Sarah wallet that just has the few, um, I think it only has, oh it only has two credit card slots and then you know, the two bill slots and the coin slot. I actually like to use this on vacay because I don't need all my cards, but I do like to have space um, for my bills to go side to side. I was using the Kiss Lock wallet and then, I don't know, I kind of go back and forth. Like I use this for a while and then I get tired of it and then I go get the Kiss Lock and then I get tired of that and then I go back to this. But for all intents and purposes, it's a full size wallet. It's like the seven and a half, what is it? Seven and a half by four, no, seven by four. And so, um, actually, I just said that it would fit, and okay, so it will fit, but like this in your phone is like all you would be able to put in here. And honestly, if you're going to be carrying this thing like out and about, you probably don't really need your full-size wallet, right? Because like now I'm having to kind of, you know, do a wonky thing to get it out. So I wouldn't recommend using a full-size wallet inside, but it would fit. You can get away with just one of those, you know, those little, those small ones like the Marco wallet or Kiss Lock wallet. Those smaller wallets fit great in here. So, okay, so let's just say that you have your phone and you have, this This is just a pack of gum and then just a little travel thing of Kleenex and a lip balm and then I, um, so these are my keys. I don't have a whole lot of keys on here. I just have the key fob and then just, what, three keys. That's all I have. Everything else is just like all these LV keychains and those will just fit in there on top 
And like, you know, I guess if you're just, I was kind of looking around to see if there's anything else that I might fit in here. Oh, okay, so if you wanted to just throw your pen in there in case you needed that. And then, you know, the little notebook. Okay, and this might be all that you need. Well, okay, no, you probably need your, I keep my compact in the other, in the my mid-size pochette. But, you know, if you wanted to throw this in here, okay, well, I need to readjust if I'm going to use this. Okay, so that goes there. And then, okay. So this, these would be just kind of essentials that you would need, you know, if you're just going maybe on a date night or, you know, I don't know, vacay or where you just don't need your full daily bag. Okay, so I'm going to throw this. Um, it's a non-LV chain, but it looks just like one of the LV chains. And I think it's the chain that goes on the Eva clutch, if I, if I remember right. But um, it looks just like it's the same size, like the same size and uh, the circumference of it is the same size. And I forget how long this is. I think it's uh, it's in centimeters, and so I don't translate that quickly on my brain. I need my little converter. But anyway, I just want to show you. Okay, so I'm 5'6", and look. Oh, I need to move this down. Okay, so let me put this down here so you can kind of get a better view. Okay, see? And this is just like, so I'm 5'6". This is kind of like the perfect little drop for me. I mean, like, here's my waist up here. So I like it. When I work to that wedding, this is the chain that I use, and I feel like it's it's good for you know, all heights. Um, well, I guess if you're shorter, it might fit a little bit lower, but um, it's pretty, I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's pretty universal. You know, I guess, I guess it just depends on how low you like your bag to fall. I mean, some people don't like their bag to fall super low, but I don't like mine up here. So anyway, I don't have the little leather strap that comes with it. You know how it comes with that little uh, strap and I can't find mine, but um, you, you would be able to connect it from D-ring to D-ring, and you could just put it in the crook of your elbow if you wanted to carry it like that, or obviously a hand carry, or um, just depending on the size of your arm, you could throw it up over your shoulder, because I do have another video on my channel, and I, I have the strap in that video, and I'm pretty sure that I demonstrate putting it over your shoulder, but it's a really old video. It's probably two or three years old, so you'd have to go back and search it on my channel, but um, I don't, I didn't have the chain, and that in that video. So I wanted to come back and do the chain because a lot of people are always asking me to, you know, what kind of crossbody do I recommend? And I, this is one of them that really is a great option uh, just because if you don't want to use it as a crossbody, then all you have to do is just take your little chain off and you can, you know, use it inside your daily bag like I do. And that's what I was saying. Like I have been using this inside my daily bag for three years. I mean, and, and if I want to go do something fancy, I'm going to move this back up now. If I want to go do something fancy or whatever, then I have my little chain, and it's perfect. So, uh, oh, and then like I said, the clutch model. When I got this several years ago, I did not know that there was another model that did not have the D-ring, or I probably just would have gotten this one. Well, although it's been nice when I do need to have a crossbody for some something fancy. Um, and I say fancy because, like, it looks really cute with the little dress I had on for that wedding, and you know, just, it's just a nice touch, you know, it's not, because, you know, when you're going to, like, a dinner or a reception or something fancy like that, you don't need everything, and I don't really like to carry stuff, like, you know, as a clutch or on my wrist, I don't really like to do that, I'd rather have, um, you know, some sort of strap, like the chain I just showed you, so, anyway, um, these were just the few things in here that I told you would fit, um, I was going to show you, let's see if there's anything else, well, really, that's it, and you, so like I said, it's quite deceiving. You can actually fit uh, quite a bit in here because, you know, again, it's pretty, it's not a stiff bag. It's really flexible. The inside is like the inside of a Speedy. It's just that brown canvas. And I'm trying to think of what else I need to tell you. Now, I know that you can go um, and get you like some handmade wristlets, wristlet straps. Um, I actually had some of those in my group. Um, not this last year, but the year before, and they were really cute, and they were just some handmade, you know, uh, straps that people, or, yeah, people have made, and they were really popular because, obviously, you can throw it on here on either side, and you can carry it that way, um, which would really be cute on this one because I actually don't have a strap for this one either, um, so you would have to, you would have to get a strap for this one unless you just wanted to use it inside your daily bag which again oh, oh that's what I was gonna do I was gonna show you in comparison so you know that my other must-have item that I talk about is the Truce 23 so this is kind of just in relation to that so you can kind of see it's quite a bit smaller and obviously not near as deep this is like two inches deep 
and this is 1.25. And then here's the Truce 28. So you can see it's kind of, this is kind of monstrous compared to this. But anyway, it just kind of gives you an idea like where it falls. It does not take up very much room in your daily bag. As you can see, it's nice and slim. And so it's, you know, you can stick it in your bag like this or like this. I actually keep mine um, like this. And then I have my midsize and I keep it, you know, kind of like in the front or whatever. But um, anyway, I just wanted to do an update or review because like I said in my last video, I did not have the chain and the chain just makes a huge difference in this bag because again, you can wear it several different ways. And so that just makes it like, very, it's, you know, um, it's a good investment if you're looking for just another piece and another small SLG and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is a great option. It's also a great option for like, um, I have a lot of moms asking for what I recommend for crossbodies for their young daughters. This is a great option. Um, just because again, they don't carry a lot and they don't want anything super bulky and this is a good option. Um, although I did have a friend whose daughter has really long hair and she was concerned about the chain getting caught in her hair and so she ended up not going with this. But um, it is, you know, you can get leather straps to aftermarket or non-LV leather straps. There's a website called Mauto, M-A-U-T-O dot com, I think. And they sell all different kinds of links, uh, links of straps and options and everything else. But anyway, I hope this was helpful and I'll be talking to you real soon. Okay, bye!